gold's become very steady in what has been a very volatile period. Well, I think you're absolutely right. And the fact that it's held in so well, in light of the fact the uh, U.S. Fed has been aggressively raising interest rates, in fact, at a pace that we haven't seen in modern times, the fact that gold is held in while that's been going on is quite remarkable. And I, I would say that that is a testimony to its, um, you know, its long-standing place as a store of wealth. Yeah, so it, it's ticking the box of acting as a port in the storm, but it's not ticking the box of providing any return uh, for our viewers as well. I mean, do you expect gold? To, you, you looked you looked pained when I said that. Please reply. Yeah. Yeah, I don't. I don't think gold is necessarily something you you buy uh, expecting returns. If you're buying the metal. Well, we used you, to have you, a chap on here. Where was he from? Titanium or somewhere? He told us it was going to five thousand dollars. That never happened. Well. You know, that to me is, uh, that's a matter of sheer speculation. Uh, but the r reality is that you should buy gold equities if you're looking for returns. Right. And they should provide returns. They should pay dividends. They should appreciate in value, especially if, uh, you know, like Alamos, you, you're on a, a great pace of discovery, adding reserves and, and generating, you know, growth and income. Yes, you should expect a return on, on your investment in an equity. But when you're investing in a commodity like gold, I, you should be doing so with the idea of preserving your wealth as opposed to, say, looking for some sort of solid return. There, there are better places to, to get returns. Okay. What's interesting is, is central banks are back in the market uh, and they've been buying like it's going out of fashion. The third quarter well, sales, 399. Well, the trouble is you never really know yeah. what the Chinese and the Russians are doing. I mean, unless you've got very good uh, insights into those particular countries. Um, but we know pretty much what the, the net numbers look like. And it, I think it was a record 399 uh, billion uh, uh, tons of uh, 399 tons of gold um, worth around 20 billion in the third quarter of uh, 2022. So, so clearly the demand is out there at the moment. And perhaps the interesting thing is that prices are not being stronger at this point. Maybe that's just the strength of the dollar that's been suppressing some of the, the retail purchasing. I think that's exactly what uh, the smart money is telling you, that the dollar is peaked. And where do you go? Um, one thing you'll never see the U.S. Uh, government do is sell their gold. Mm. What do, what do, Brown. Well, what do they get? If yeah. they sell their gold, they get U.S. dollars. They can print as many of those as they like. Yeah. So the U.S. will always sit on its gold holdings. The Chinese, the Russians, they're accumulating gold because what's the alternative? Accumulate U.S. dollars? Mm. They don't want to do that. No. So right now I see... Uh, it, it's pretty clear in the world that the U.S. dollar has been in the ascendancy for years, but it's peaking. And economically, you know, the U.S. is, is suffering, and, um, and I don't think it's benefiting from a strong U.S. dollar. So I don't think there's a lot of um, political support for a, a strong U.S. dollar. Mm. Um, you add all that up, and that starts to bode very well for the gold price.